Okay, quick little tutorial on this rope print. You can see I've already made half of it. This is the idea, it's like creating, I'll come down. This is the idea, it's like creating uh, a stamp uh, and the kids are going to, when they're dry, print with their designs onto the A3 paper. So in the beginning, you want it to be dry, you want their name on the back, and then they can begin planning with their rope that I've just pre-cut, about 30 centimetres or whatever. Um, you might have some smaller pieces or you can have the scissors there and the students can cut off what they like. Um, so what we're going to do is without the glue first, they can start to just explore and experiment with the rope what kind of spirals or waves or designs they would like. Maybe talking about mirror image or symmetry, maybe having a consistent pattern so that when it's printed, it, it can look really good. Coming back to that symmetry mirror image that we talked about with beetles. So we're looking at the designs. The rope's a little bit tricky. It likes to flip around. So when they get an idea and they think about it, then you can start to use the glue. Applying the glue is in the tofu boxes. We just put the PVA glue in. And we use the brushes. Make sure you wash them or get the kids to really wash them well. PVA glue drying in a brush, we just have to throw the brush away. So wash it out really well. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is putting a nice even amount. If you find kids are starting to, you know, dribble it everywhere, I usually say, you know, think of it like spaghetti. So you roll the brush around like spaghetti and then you can lift it away. Okay? Painting the area where you want the rope to go. Spin it like spaghetti. You can then take the rope and start to put it on. The, the glue needs to be thickly applied. It will dry clear. Uh, if it's not thickly applied, that rope could just crack off. So apply it on pretty generously in the area, general area where that rope's going to go. This is the sticky fingers part. So when the kids start to do this, they need to be very just careful and precise as they lay the rope onto the gluey wet area and making sure they're pressing it down as they do this. A lot of fun uh, and they can always slide it around, change it as they go. Okay, so I'll try and do this quickly. There we go. Making sure they're pushing it down in the shape that they want, like this. There we go and making sure there's glue. This one's obviously not glued very well, so make sure you check them all and go back and fix them up. I'll just do my last one. Spin it like spaghetti. Put that in the general area where the rope's going. Like this. And then you can put the other little shape on. And they're pushing it down. And there you have it. So what we're going to do next time with this is going to let it, let it dry and then we can, with our brush and the coloured paint, we brush on the paint and then the kids will be turning over and stamping it down over the paper. We take that paper and then we're going to cut it into our B3D flowers with their prints. So it'll look really good. Great, have fun, good luck.